So let's get into Spotlight. I'll jump right over to there. Um, I'm not, this isn't going to be a kind of a full on, let's go to every detail. I'm going to assume a lot of you know how to use the filters, that you've taken a look through the policy area of the full 110 policy data points, and that you can, you know, find and use our help section if you ever need it or anything like that. However, I am going to get into some super key things that I think you might be missing on. Two number one questions that I get all the time on how to find something in Spotlight. And now that I'm in the policy area, lend, and this seems to still be key in the industry, lending in a holding company. Yes, we have that data. So if you come in here in the policy area, you're going to look up, like quite frankly, a policy category called lending in a holding operating company. And we're doing a bit of update on Spotlight in the policy area. Um, and you'll over the next few months, you'll see that rolled out. You see this lovely accepted right here. In any of the categories that are yes, no's, you're going to see accepted. And those accepted answers draw closer to the front. So for now, when we did that recent update about Scotiabank, for anybody who is President's Club or like essentially has status with Scotia and that they will do lending in a holding company, it's available for you there and pulled up as accepted. So all the other lenders that don't quite do that yet, you're going to see a bit of update out here, but you can see the information now. And you can see that. The other common question I get is rental income, rental offsets. How do I find all that, Brad? There you go. Another one to find that I bet you didn't know we had all of it. Um, right here, rentals income. You're going to find everything that says, does this lender do an 80% offset? And quickly you can find things like 80% offset. And if it's mentioned in it, it's going to be showing in there. To see that where it's highlighting the offset and the 80%, you can take a look and sort of find all that information in this area. So there's, there's two key things that I totally bet that you maybe didn't know, maybe you hadn't found it. Uh, and then the other thing that is our newest and like we're super proud of, and I actually just showed somebody this morning and they were like, oh, how did I miss this area? It's right here. And this is our area called alternative lending. We use that as a, a, a common sort of term for any of kind of the non A, alt A defined rate lending. So this is anything with a non-defined rate, private lender, anybody that might do raw land, anything like that. So you're gonna come here and we started residential. We're gonna come, we'll at some point in this year to get to commercial and construction. You're gonna go and you're gonna do Ontario. And then where I'm located, I'm near London, Ontario. So you're gonna scroll here and let's say do London. And then under the per loan goal, you're gonna do purchase first, second, whatever it might be, general cash shortfalls, debt consolidation. You're gonna then do a search. You're gonna come up with 26 different options in that this particular scenario. However, that's not everything. You're going to then dig down a little bit and say, now, what exactly is this property? Well, in London, this property is a rooming student house. Then I'm going to do months and months only. And you're going to do a loan amount, million and a half. And so those 26 solutions now landed down at seven. And for example, let's come over here to Antrim. You're going to see... They're essentially their max LTV, their loan amount, any sort of specific information, any BDM contacts. And for those who are using FINMO, uh, our submission tool, you're going to then sit over, click over here on submit. And you can kind of carry on from there. If you're sort of, now, when it comes to, I saw some, uh, quickly, I did see a question about B policies and rates. The lenders on, in the policy section here are any of the lenders who are available on the A section. 
So A, all day. Um, so you got like Home Trust Classic. Those guys are available on here. Anybody more private, et cetera, you're not going to find their policies here. You're just going to find their information in the alternative lending area since it's not so cut and dried and things like that. So you're to you're anyway, so you're totally going to be able to, you know, find that and then reach out to them because it's obviously more of a case by case, item by item. The lenders on here pay to be in this alternative lending area. So they, they pay like an advertising fee to be here. So from time to time, I do get you guys who will reach out and say, hey, Brad, but I don't see so-and-so or I don't see this person. That's correct because maybe they just haven't chosen to be here yet. But I'm, I'm start So if you do reach out to them and say, hey, you know, if you let them know, hey, you might be missing out because um, all these eyeballs are coming up on here, feel free to introduce them to me anytime, anytime and show, show them off the space uh, and just show them, you know, how useful you find it for. And um, the other, you know, we've got options where we can also help with exclusive rates too that maybe some of the teams on Spotlight might not be using. So those are kind of stuff that I'm not gonna cover in here, but things you should reach out for me for. If there's something, a lender you're not seeing, um, anything like that. And then the one thing I, I will like to, for I cap my area on this, if you're ever looking through anything and you see a rate, a policy, and it's, it's no, not up to date, please feel free to use the chat, reach out to Brad or any of the team here, and we will check. If for some reason there is an error and it is, you know, we're not perfect, we're not robots, but if there is an error, we're gonna send you a $10 Starbucks card actually for your time. We appreciate you engaging with the product. We appreciate you giving us the feedback. We, we want to keep it valuable and we want to keep it up to date. So we want to hear from you, especially as you might think there's an error, but it turns out that maybe there's just something wasn't quite entirely clear. And so that feedback is invaluable us to make things even better. And with um, those sort of key things that I'm hoping maybe I kind of blew your mind on uh, and anything like that, I am gonna turn it over to my friend, Greg Williamson. Thanks, Brad. Wow, that's really exciting. Uh, thanks for showing us that for the people to hear on the webinar. I mean, Listen, I know that uh, everybody's got a different level of experience in their mortgage brokering career, but even for those I've found that have been there a long time, I think it's interesting to uh, be able to have all of these policies at our fingertips. I no longer have to sort of start to call BDMs or wait for answers back or contact people. All the information is right at my fingertips here. So thanks for showing that. We're going to... Uh, switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, how can Lendesk products help you sell more? How can we, um, and, you know, in terms of helping you get more clients and get more importantly, more conversion of clients. So I'm going to chat a little bit about that. First, to kick that off, um, I think what is interesting is that brokers love Finmo, particularly, uh, or Lendesk, I should say, um, particularly high transaction volume uh, brokers because of the how the products are synergistic so uh, and what we focus on. So we obsess about two things at Lendesk as it relates to the mortgage brokers part of the journey, which is we focus really hardcore on the borrower's journey, the borrower's experience. And so you'll see that we're starting to move um, Finmo and Lender Spotlight together because it helps to enhance the borrower's experience. And we obsess about a second thing, and that is conversion of borrowers. So things that we're not gonna talk about today, but even in our borrower's journey and our application and things like that, we work on things of how do I get the borrower to make micro commitments so that they're more likely to convert with me. They're more likely to fund with me and those types of things. But what I wanna focus on today is about how can I use Lender Spotlight to actually help me in that journey. So, um, helping customer, helping you as a mortgage professional, how do I help you sell more customers? And so one of the things that we've learned over the years from some high producing mortgage professionals is that 
if I set up my sales process correctly, and I'll just briefly chat on the high level on that, my sales process really should have three steps. One is my discovery call. The second is my strategy session. And then the third is my funding and, you know, going through the process of completing the loan. So in my discovery call, what I am mostly trying to do is I'm only trying to do three things. I can finish the discovery call in 15 to 20 minutes. And what I'm trying to do is, first of all, find out, is there even a deal here for me to do? Like I can ask enough quick questions to see, is this kind of a deal that is qualified, can get something, they're going to do something. Uh, and then the second thing, and one of the more important things I'm doing is I'm trying to find out who am I competing against? I can ask questions of my borrower to find out what do they plan to do? Did they plan to chat with their bank? Did they plan to chat with another mortgage provider? Did they plan to go back to their existing lender for an offer? And the reason I wanna know that is for this part that I'm gonna share with you now. The third part of my discovery call is setting up and getting my and enrolling my borrower in the next part of my sales process. And so I'm asking the borrower to come along with me. And so I wanna, I wanna make some offers. I wanna be able to, what I don't wanna do is in my very first meeting with a borrower is spend 45 minutes telling them about uh, everything about all the different mortgage products that are available and start making offers, particularly before I know, well, who am I competing up against? Because I want to be able to showcase that I can offer more choice and offer more strategy and offer more uh, advice. And so when I'm setting them up for the, the strategy session, which is the part where I'm going to then teach them, here's the, here's the mortgage options that are available for you. Here's why this one's more, maybe better option than this one um, and how I want to set that up for them. And uh, that's, that's how I do that typically is some version of, hey, listen, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Borrower, the next really great choice in this is for me to get an application from you and to get your documents in. And the reason why that's important is because with more information and understanding your full um, application and where your documents are, I am more able to be able to do an exhaustive research of the marketplace and find the five best lender options for you. And, um, and then in the next part of our sales process, I'm going to sit down with you and I'm going to actually showcase the top five lender options for you. And I can tell you that mortgage, mortgage borrowers like that. And I find that a lot of mortgage professionals, uh, particularly newer ones in the industry, don't necessarily set it up like that. But we forget that the reason why a borrower is likely coming to a mortgage broker, there's two real reasons. One would be that I think I'm getting better advice. And two would be, I think I have more choice. And so why are we not showcasing that we can actually give better advice, thorough advice, show you different options and have show you choice instead of just coming back to a borrower and saying, oh, hey, I've done this and here's lender A and here's why I think this is, you know, this is the choice for you. I've given you one choice. I might be telling them that, I've, oh, I've checked everybody else, but as a borrower, do I really know that you have? Now I might have doubt in my mind and that might make me go back to my existing lender for another option or a second opinion. But if I do a nice thorough strategy session, which by the way, should take max 30 minutes, and I show you the different options, then I can give my borrower the comfort level that I have in fact checked and given different cho choices for them. Um, and I also can show them the reasons why I think this particular one is better than this particular one, for example. Final point on this, and then we'll show you how you actually do that. Um, remember in the discovery call, I found out why who I am competing against. And let's say they said one of their existing lenders well, then I want to make sure that I add them to my compare my compare and share if I can, um, so that I can I can showcase that I've checked them. Let's say, for example, they say TD Bank. Well, I want to show TD Bank as a potential option, but I also might show some of the other options from a monoline lender that might be a better fit, may, may or may not. But I cover off both angles so that they don't think they have to go back to their existing bank because I've already done the check. And I've already got a rate offer from that particular bank. Um, very, very critical in terms of getting people to stick with me. So Frank, let's, um, let's pull up um, and show how we might do that. Uh, let's start inside Finmo where we can show like how you use fine products um, and, we can, and then we can go from there. So 
uh, yeah, let's go inside of Finmo. And let's go to the part where we, uh, where we, if we're inside an application inside of Finmo, I can actually then take the information I have in Finmo and I can go over and find all the products in Lender Spotlight and then go ahead and build a compare and share, Frank, and then I'll come back on. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Um, and this is, is going to showcase really the synergy that uh, Greg was mentioning a bit earlier. So basically, once you have your information of your application in Finmo, you're going to see some of the key factors that are going to be used to filter inside Spotlight. They're going to automatically be applied once you click Find Available Products. So once you click on this, it's going to take you here to Lender Spotlight itself with some of those filters pre-completed. And if for you guys that haven't used Spotlight yet, everything that's going to be showcased here on the right-hand side is basically all the possible options based on those filters. And this is going to update live as you make selection. So in this case, if my scenario is a five year and now I select five years, you're going to see a live reduction of the amount of choices that came up. And what Greg mentioned about uh, the compare and share is that every single lender here will showcase the number of products that are matching those criteria with the lowest rate amongst those products. But if we want to get into those specifically, you can, for example, open one of the lender options and you're going to see the various products that are here. And if you want to compare those against either the same lender or other lenders, any product can be selected by using the plus side here at the top of the, the selected product. And that's going to add it to my compare tool you see at the top. And it could easily be removed as well. So if I go back to my lenders, for example, I can select multiple of those. To here, I have selected four different ones. For example, the bank that Greg has mentioned that they're currently dealing with, with additional options for my client. All that requires for you to click on compare product here at the bottom. And it's going to draw a side-by-side -side comparison for you to take a look at. Quickly, you're going to notice that the qualifiers for those products are going to be there, and you can simply take a look across to see if there's anything that wouldn't work for your client. But more specifically, especially relating to what Brad mentioned earlier, is that primary policy elements are going to be displayed right underneath the lenders individually. So you can take a look, for example, if somebody having a particular down payment situation, to have access to the same policies that Brad has showcased earlier, directly underneath each of those lenders for you to be able to qualify right away if that's a relevant product for your client. Or if your client has approached you saying, hey, I really want to deal with XYZ lender because they've pitched to me, you're able to find out if maybe there's some elements in the policy that makes it not a really good advantage for them to work with them. So you're able to navigate as many as the policies as needed. But if you'd like to have something tangible for your client, like Greg said, to give them the choice and for them to be able to feel that work you've been doing for them, you can simply click on create report. What that's going to do is that, of course, uh, if you're part of the, the platinum selection of uh, Spotlight, you're going to have your own logo there as well to produce a nice report. You're going to be able to have a message drawn out for your client. So for example, hey, this is a five-year fix scenario we talked about, or whatever the case may be. And then you get to customize that report for your client. So this is really key because what you can do is you can, of course, even take off the lender. You could present an option to your client and being completely removing uh, the banner of the equation so they only look at the facts. But you could also maybe remove some of the elements that your, your borrower might not be so familiar with. So for example, the ratios, they might have question about that, or maybe it's not going to be relevant in their case. So you get to have a custom report for them. But this also includes, for example, the different uh, policies that you'd like to include for your client. So you get to make your selection based on those that were showcased create a report, and just in a few clicks, going from your deal, being getting your application, to clicking on find my product, to compare product, you have something ready for your client that's been reviewed and you get to tailor the best uh, possible product for your client. You're gonna see in the report here at the top, you're gonna get the side-by-side -side of each of the different products, and then moving forward, each subsequent pages are gonna have the breakdown of the product itself, with the different types of policies that you've selected for each. And it gives that tangible elements that Greg mentioned, where now you can come to your client, show all the different comparison with something else has been presented to them to show that you've actually looked into that as well and give option to your client and have full transparency in what you're offering to them. Obviously, it's a 
tool that's at your disposal. So make sure to maximize it. It's really great as well if you guys want to have an audit of what you presented to your client. It's a really great way for you guys to have a trail of that. So once you've done your homework and your client has made a selection, you can go back into FINMO now and select the right lender to move on with uh, your submission. Uh, Greg, I'll let you take it back. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Hey, listen, while I'm talking, just wrapping this up, let's go back over to Spotlight, just handle a couple of the questions that came in on the chat. Um, and the uh, let's just go right into the, the lender, um, back to the lenders uh, screen. Yeah, so a couple of questions came in. Let's do it. Let's kind of go through a little bit of the filters just to show people like what if you're using Finmo as your submission platform, it becomes much simpler because all of the everything that's about that deal, the LTV, everything is already pre-populated. As Frank showed you, when you click find products, bam, you get the products you want. But Frank, let's just show a little bit more of an experience. If I'm not using Finmo, what how would the filters work so that I can the, the idea here is that I come to Spotlight with what is the parameters of my deal? Well, it's this, it's that, and Frank will show you as we go through it. Um, and then uh, it'll start to dr drill down what lenders are, are available for me. Um, and so, Frank, why don't you just go whip through it real quick and just show kind of how I might set up a, a filtered deal. Absolutely. So here, basically, I, all I did was uh, click on click, uh, clear filter just to remove what was pre-selected, which obviously you can do at any time. First thing is the province, pretty self-explanatory. Just pick the one that you know, you're going to have your deal in. Then the transaction type, so purchase, refinance, or a, tri uh, a transfer. Let's go with a purchase in this case. Then you're going to be able to set up the purpose. So if it's going to be owner-occupied, a one-unit rental or a multiple-unit rental. Let's go traditional buying a house for a family here. Rate type, uh, standard, limited, or promo. Usually you're most likely going to fall into your standard category here to have your options come up. Then fix or variable or heel lock. Again, self-explanatory, but it's a, if you guys are not sure what your client, you can keep this open to have both options come up. You can have variable terms being selected as well. Traditional five year here, but it could be anything that your client requires. Then you're going to notice that we're going to get into like very specific to your application details that this would carry over from Finmo. So maximum amortization, it could be at 25 years. Then you're going to be able to have your mortgage amount. So let's say in this case, it can be 650 and you get to select the property value. So let's say I have 950. The LTV will calculate automatically based on the values that have been added here. The different type of insurance on the deal, in this case, it might just be uh, conventional insurable. If you guys are working with specific lenders, you're able to have your lenders pre-selected. Now, a note of this is that once you guys are using Finmo and Spotlight, you can have a custom made version of that Spotlight uh, database, if you will, so that you're gonna be able to have only the lenders that you work with as options that come up. So it doesn't create noise for you guys when you work. And that way it's, it automates the process of you finding uh, your lender partner much quicker in that regard. You could also have different lender types. Of course, for example, if you want to limit to banks, you're going to be able to do so here. Beacon score, uh, you get to manually input it or it's going to take it from your primary applicant if you have it in FINMO. And if there's any type of rate holds, you could also select it. And then you're going to notice here at the bottom that we have a list of different programs. So if there's something specific you guys are looking to and want to be able to have that come up on the screen really quickly. So for example, a first time home buyer, it's a really quick way for you guys to do it. And now in this case, you see, well, all of those elements combined, we're not getting a result. You get to remove it. Uh, Pre-approval is another one that might come up <laughs> and obviously I'm choosing bad example here, but you guys get an idea of like how those different filters can be used. If I clear all my filter here, let's say new to Canada, for example, you need to have a lender that approves that type of programs. You select it, you're gonna see at a quick glance, the lenders that would approve it. So if you combine this with your lender partner, you're gonna be able to quickly narrow down the information you're looking for. Um, Greg, I don't know if there's another question or if that there's a follow up. This yeah. One. yeah, that's great. Thanks for showing that. A couple other quick questions, and then we'll move on just to kind of take a hit a couple that are in there. First of all, if you're not seeing the compare feature up in the top right corner, if you just want to highlight that, Frank, where it is, if you're not seeing that button, then that would mean that you are currently a free user of Spotlight and not a platinum user of Spotlight. 
So you can just, um, you know, check in with Brad and to find out how you could uh, get your uh, version of Spotlight. Now, I should add that you can get a platinum version of Spotlight for free uh, because it's offered as a back a bundle deal when you use Finmo as the uh, as your submission platform. So Finmo is free and Lender Spotlight is free and they're connected and work together. So you have that option available for you as well. So uh, a couple of quick questions too. Somebody asked about how we uh, how we keep things up to date uh, relative to some of our competitors in this space. My understanding of the uh, Velocity's discovery is, is that they require the lenders to actually update the rates and that is a challenge with some lenders. Uh, and so it may, and particularly when it comes to policies as well. You've met Brad, he's Mr. Spotlight at Lendesk. And so he's an actual live human. Uh, and he is um, involved, his job is to make sure that this area is completely updated every day that the rates change, policies change, whatever it might be. And as we've told you, we put our money where our mouth is. If you find an error on here, Brad's gonna give you a $10 Starbucks card. So, um, so that answers a couple of the questions. Frank, let's switch over. Let's go back to Finmo for a second. Uh, what I want to talk a little bit about, I just mentioned about why brokers love the Lendesk product and particularly the combo between Finmo and Lendesk because it helps me sell more borrowers. But what do, what do brokers underwriters or assistants, why do they love Finmo? And I think it's probably because and the way that we brought Spotlight into this process is it helps underwriters underwrite faster and more um, accurately. Uh, you know, we all know that for the borrower's experience, I want to be able to get the application into the lender quickly, but I also want it to be accurately. And I want it to show, I want it to make sure that it goes to a lender that's actually going to do this deal. So Frank, why don't we go through really quickly, show how fast all of you here have submitted deals on expert or wherever other platform you may be using. Let us show you how fast you can, un you can underwrite and submit a deal on Finmo. And let's touch on Frank, how we pull in the policy data from Spotlight so that brokers make sure they get accurate submissions. And then let's give a little teaser on our automated submission notes. So take it away from here. Thanks, Greg. So yeah, as Greg mentioned, um, right, it's it's the whole process coming together. And now there's three factors, right, that are coming. So there's your bore at one end, there's you, the broker working in the middle and the lender at the other. And every step, of our technology is looking to just bring these closer together. So first, in terms of the underwriting that Greg has mentioned, what's really great is that all the information you see under the application here is that it is live fed from your client going inside their portal. So when your client is on their phone giving you the information, it feeds live even until all the way up until your client sends it to you. And then it sort of like locks in on their screen. So that way you can really pick it up anywhere your client has left it, and your client can repick their application anytime they've stopped filling it in. So it makes the process really smooth to first qualify your client and get the information you need. But now when it comes time to figure out, well, perfect, now I have my deal in, how do I navigate Finmo itself to do this efficiently? And what you're gonna notice is each of those categories here of the different section of the application are having like their own subsection in terms of like rectangles that can be quickly reviewed edit if needed, but the greatest uh, thing here to make things faster is that you're able to collapse completed section while retaining the information at a glance. So that way you can declutter your screen, you can quickly simply scroll down, confirming, perfect, I've reviewed everything. Oh, here I'm missing a SIM number, for example, I'll need to get in touch with my client. I might wanna keep this part open and then close the rest. So when you're gonna be jumping into an application at any point in time, you know exactly where you left off and what you need to review because you've left the section open that needs to be addressed. And this makes the process much smoother when you're doing 20 different things at once, answering emails, jumping on a call, you always know where you're at in your application. So quickly, just by scrolling down, like you'd see all the information regarding the client, of course, you're gonna be able to make the changes as you need as you go, review the assets, pull credit, while you pull credit, it's automatically going to import all your liabilities and you can re-import as you need so that you can do the different types of scenarios that you're looking to do for your client. Property information of the currently owned property, the subject property can be added, and then the mortgage detail can be reviewed. And what we've done to make things really quick for you guys, and like Greg said, efficient and more precise, 
is that we permit you guys to run with our calculators that you're going to see here. So at any point in your application, you have access to the shortcut to your calculator that permits you to change in real time the information for your qualifying details at, for your application, as well as your payment details. So if you have an underwriter, you're doing it yourself and you need to get on the phone with your client and run multiple scenarios, instead of going in your application and always modify the data for you to be able to finally land on a number, especially if your client says, you know what, let's just go back to the original plan and then you got to reclaim your application. In Finmo, you can run as many scenarios as you want directly from the calculator. If your client simply asks to go back to the original plan, you close your calculator, nothing has been modified in your application. But if you do land on a situation that's more advantageous for your client than decide to put a bigger down payment or anything like that, you click on save changes and now all the details of your calculator will be automatically set into your application, further increasing the process of your underwriting. So now that you have that information done, you can move on to your submit section here and then it takes you directly to what we've looked before. Awesome, you have your information of your application ready to review and spotlight. And now that you've found your lender, you can select it either from your favorite lenders or the full list of 265 lenders that we have. And once you move into your submission here, you're gonna notice that the lender will be mentioned at the top that could be changed if you already work your, submit, your submission. But now you're gonna notice this section here, lender policies. And what Spotlight does now is that it detects some of the elements of your file and it's gonna bring up the notif basically the notable policy from Spotlight directly in your submission for you to review them. And all you do is you click plus and all the stuff that's relevant to your application will come up for you to review. You get to quickly read to make sure that you're not missing anything or maybe you need to add a specific submission note for that particular product and you can simply hide the detail as you start reviewing those policies. So you don't need to necessarily jump into Spotlight every time to go and try to find those individual policy. Finmo will populate that for you. Perfect, I've reviewed all my policy. I get to quickly review my validations as well. So in this case, there's something that doesn't match. Finmo will catch it, of course. And one thing I wanna bring of notice is that our validation are per lender. So depending on the lender you choose, the validation rule will be different to make sure that instead of having like a one size fit all model of regular uh, rules that would apply to most of the lenders, you no, know, we tailor them to each lender to make sure your submission data is as efficient as it can be. And then pr process faster by the lender. So you can click on the edit function here, for example, go back, I'm not gonna use, uh, that amount here for my down payment. It was just an example to create issues. Perfect, this is done. I can go back here to my validation. I get confirmation. And one thing I wanna show here is that you also see that the lender policies are quickly available as a shortcut in your application. Now that this is done, I get to review my deal, but hey, it's already done. Down payment, it's all done in my application. GDS, TDS was already done. Maybe I wanna re-review it. It's gonna reopen my calculator for me. My mortgage details were already done. All I had to do is select my dates because it was entered in my calculator. I move, I select my interest rate based on what I saw in Spotlight. My submission details are entered. And then what Greg wanted to, to tease on is now how do I get the lender to get the proper information? We've now added the smart submission note. So by clicking on generate submission note, it's gonna take the details of your application themselves and set it up for you in a way that's going to be easily digested by the lender so that they can pr process a, a basically um, a reply faster on a decision on what to do with your client. And if there's stuff in there that you feel is not needed, everything can quickly be edited. So you can simply select, for example, do remove, and then you clean your submission note in no time. No need to jump back and forth in your application. Everything populates for you. You just clean as you need click on save changes, and then you're ready to submit for your lender. Back to you, Greg. Okay, well, thanks for that. So as you can see, what we said, I mean, using Spotlight integrated with Finmo, I just make my submissions faster. And we know that that's true. I got a couple of questions I wanna answer from the chat, but now's a good time to also, uh, anybody else who have some questions they were holding on to, this is the time to do it. So Casey asked about, um, can we put um, the, the comparables and compare and share into Finmo? 
Um, the easy answer is yes. We're looking at, um, currently right now as we speak, we're looking at upgrading and continuing to, to review our compare and share feature. Some of the things we're contemplating is whether or not we put it on the borrower's portal so the borrower can see it, but also so that you can see it inside of your uh, submission experience. You can count on, as time goes on, more and more and more of Lender Spotlight being integrated inside of Finmo because it's smart. Because then I can actually move myself closer and closer to a pre-adjudicated loan, you know, or an auto-adjudicated loan or whatever, because I already have the policy data from Spotlight. So it's things that we think about. Um, and another question was, uh, I don't know, just find here. Uh, somebody asked about, oh, Kinchuk asked about, if I do a file from Finmo and I send it to expert, does the credit report get exported? No, it doesn't. Uh, that said, you also don't push the expert for submission. You can just submit directly within uh, Finmo. So you pull the credit and work within Finmo as well. So, um, and I see that um, somebody else asked, let me just look here. Just trying to find who, oh, Lauren asked, will Lender Spotlight be integrated with Velocity? Uh, well, that's a question for Velocity. Uh, we, we've uh, we've integrated Finmo and Lender Spotlight with lots of different products and lots of different companies out there. Um, and uh, so if Velocity wanted to have, uh, that would be a question for them. We, we've routinely asked them to connect Finmo to that for their payroll feature and they declined. So um, I would recommend you take that question up with them, uh, but we, we'd love to chat about it. Uh, I think there might be some new questions. Uh, yeah, somebody, uh, I'll just quickly jump in. I do see somebody mentioned that, um, how again, how accurate is Spotlight and with their lenders and policies that I think, Raymond, I believe you said you joined in a little later. Um, we update daily, or I update daily along with the team, Raymond. So yeah, so you we can all, we're always updating that all the time. Good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I don't see, I don't think we have any other outstanding questions in the chat. Um, so if anybody wants any other questions, um, just to review, uh, we you know what we, we are proud of both the products of Lender Spotlight and Finmo. The, the, the primary focus of this particular webinar was how do I best use Lender Spotlight in my business? And I think that the, the highlights of that are being able to use it to help me find the right lenders. I think I already know which lenders I might want to do, but because it's so fast for me to be able to put in the filters, why not just double check? What if there's another lender that I didn't realize had a better rate special than what my lender I was thinking about? Um, and so helping me find the right lenders um, for my product. Also helping me find a lender when I have a more challenging file and I have to you know, sift through policies and try to figure out who's about to do this deal. I think that helps me a lot. And then I think what is also very helpful is helping me sell. It's a competitive landscape out there and I want to be able to get every advantage I can. And it is clear, it, you know, the, the, there is no more debate that borrowers love to know that I have researched exhaustively in the market and I'm providing them with choice, particularly choice as it relates to the lender that they might already be thinking about using that's not me. Um, and to convince them that they should use me, uh, even with that particular lender, for example. And then the final piece we chatted about was, how can I make my submission experience faster? And more importantly, in today's day, more accurate. How do I make sure that I've triple checked that the policies are going to fit for the type of application that I have? And so um, this is really uh, it's really great, Frank. I think we can uh, wrap it up from here. Was there some other another slide that you needed to wrap up? I just wanted to make sure, and I'll check and see if there was any other questions. Yeah, there's a few more questions that that came in that I saw regarding CRM as well. So uh, we could see how far we want to take down that uh, line of questioning. But one thing I wanted to let you guys know is, hey, for those of you who haven't used Spotlight and Finmo, is how to have access to that. Uh, system. So if you guys do on, go on lendes.com, you're going to see here that there's a sign up for Finmo option at the top right. Easy as this, all that requires for you guys to start exploring our system is to fill in that information and go through the system. Uh, the, the few questions is completely self-serve. So you guys can really just start exploring this and exploring Spotlight from there as well. 
If you guys would like, uh, by navigating our main page, you can have more information, but on Finmo specifically with links on how to use Spotlight, we also offer demos. So if you guys would like to meet with someone to see how Finmo and Spotlight can improve your current process, make sure to meet somebody from the team. Uh, everybody has sort of like their own way of doing things and we help you customize your use of our system to maximize the way you do business. Uh, so we offer like a discovery strategy session. You're welcome to join with somebody on the team to, to do that as well. Um, was there more question that came? Yeah, out? okay. I got, a, I got a couple of questions that you can handle really quickly. Uh, Jassy asked, how um, does Finmo house a CRM system? No. Finmo, uh, right from the very beginning, we always believed that we should do one thing and just do it really, really well. And that is create the best borrower experience. If we do that well, then that means that you are using that software, you look great in front of your borrowers. Borrowers today, they are they have been trained by Uber and Airbnb and other software to make sure that it's a modern, fresh experience and that um, they just will not put up with any amount of stumbling or any amount of you know, challenges. And so we focus and obsess on one thing making the borrower's experience better. Now, that said, we integrate with all other types of CRM. So most of our biggest mortgage broker customers use Finmo and they use their highlighted CRM. The other reason why that I think is important is that if I have an all-in-one solution, it probably means I'm only going to be sort of good at everything, as opposed to an expert at direct submissions and an expert at creating a borrower's experience and then allow the Zoho, Salesforce, whatever I might use, experts pipe drive in CRM and connect the two so that anything that's happening inside Finmo automatically populates your CRM. Therefore, you're getting the highest horsepower of each one. Um, and uh, okay, um, Kinshuk, I think I answered your question. Um, let me see, uh, John. Greg, if you don't uh, mind, I'll just add something on the CRM piece. Uh, for you guys that are using a CRM very in, in a powerful way for your business, not only do we connect, but we also assist you guys on creating that workflow from Finmo to your CRM. So you're not left to your own device to piecing it together. We assist in doing that to make sure you guys can be up and running in no time using Finmo and not miss a beat in terms of your business automation. Uh, yeah, great. Thanks. Um, and John asked, do you have rate and policy from non-broker channel lenders so we can do and then compare? Currently, no, but it is something that we are contemplating. As more and more people use compare and share as their sales tool, I think it's important that we consider that. One of the challenges, as we said, is we need to be able to get that information from them. But um, but let me um, let me take that back as some feedback for our product team. Um, Okay, well, with 10 minutes to the hour, Frank, I think we're, um, Brad, we're pretty close to. Yeah, we uh, are. Oh, here, we got another question. Uh, Shabir, if I'm working under some brokers and they use other media to submit their deals, can I still submit through Finmo? Yeah, the easy answer is yes. Um, we have brokers from, one of the good things I think it's about Lendesk is we are like you would call Switzerland. We're not owned or attached to any super brokerage network, which means that we are, focus solely on making a better experience for you and not worrying about um, you know, what your experience might be inside of your brokerage network. Um, and so we have, we have brokers that use from every single network and every single broker uh, house in Canada, uh, use and submit with Finmo uh, with no issues. Uh, okay, I think then, uh, yeah, Shabir, thanks for that question. Um, I guess this is, uh, Brad, I guess we can uh, sign yeah. off. Yeah, this is everything. Thanks very much for uh, being here today, everyone. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to connect with me anytime uh, about Lender Spotlight. Feel free to sign up for a demo with Finmo and let the team go. Um, they'd love to chat with you. We're all of us are here to help. Yeah. And uh, thank you for coming, guys. And just as a, a little teaser, we're going to be running another webinar 
probably next month. There's more details to go. And we're going to be focusing on the underwriting experience, the best practices for this. Uh, so it's really going to take what we've seen today and, and crank it up to the next level to see complex deals and how to maximize the use of Finmo. So hopefully you guys can attend this one as well. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.